Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Shakti. Well, today we will see another interesting topic with extent reports. Uh, uh, you know, uh, we normally face, you know, we are normally integrate. We don't integrate, uh, you know, our REST issued framework with uh, with the extent reports. Normally, people use other reports because they think, uh, you know, extent report cannot support these kind of things. But I personally have integrated my, you know. Uh, REST issued framework with extent report because it has some really good uh, features. In in five version, they have included few few more uh, you know features to support this. Today we'll see how we can include a JSON uh, and an XML uh, formatted uh, snippets into the extent reports with with really cool uh, you know uh, formatting. Okay, so this is a this is a JSON file that I'm going to take for sample. So this we want to log it in our reports. So let me go back to my Eclipse workspace. And if you notice, this is the code that we have written previously. And we're going to generate the report with the index.html. And if you're new here, please watch the previous sections before, before uh, watching further. Yeah, I would advise that. So now um, we are going to create a simple report with index.html. It's going to have a standard theme uh, with, the, with the document title as automation report and the report name as extent reports. Again, we have two tests. One is going, one has passed, and one has failed. We are flushing the reports and opening the reports. Uh, you know, at the end of the test. Good. Now I want to, you know, log something. Anyway, I don't need this test for this. Uh, you know, so I just have only one test that is going to get passed. So I want to, you know, log a JSON, JSON code. So, so let me copy that JSON code. Okay, from my Copy it and let me paste it here. Okay, so my JSON strings look like this. Okay, now I want to log this in the report. Okay, previously how we used to do, we can use pass or fail or info. Okay, now and then we can just pass the string directly here. Okay, now let's try to run the test and see how the logs are getting logged. It will open the report automatically, so we don't have to open it manually. So, so this is how the report is, you know, how the JSON code, the block of code, being logged in my extent report. But this is not visually appealing, right? Suppose I cannot interpret, you know, from this uh, particular snippet, uh, which is the parent node, which is the child node, and all. You know, it's really difficult for me to interpret. So, all these did what I used to do is I need to, you know, I will uh, uh, create a snippet like this, okay? So the same way, so whatever the JSON string I have, what I will do, I will replace them, uh, you know, replace the new line character, okay? So every new line character in my string, okay? Okay, I need to replace them, you know, with a break tag, okay? In HTML, see this br tag in HTML represents a new line. Okay, so if you if I directly write this string in HTML, it, it doesn't recognize what is a new line character. HTML doesn't know only the string knows slash n is for new new line. So what I am doing, I am just replacing the slash n with a break so that all the slash n in my string is getting converted to a new line in my HTML. And what else I can do? You, you know, I I am going to add. Uh, pre tag before and after this okay so this will help me okay this will help me um, to add some formatting before you know before the string so so i am going to add a pre tag before and after this so this is how it is so if i do like this uh, you know i hope this will be formatted this is how I used to do all these days. So let's try, let's try how this works. Again, if you notice, this is this is the normal way. If you if you are printing it in a normal way, it used to report like this. But once it is formatted, you know, it'll it'll look like this. So this is much clean than before, right? So again what these guys have come up with they have come up with a direct way okay they have created new method which will help us 
to use them so instead of using like this what you can do you can just log in test dot info or pause whatever it is okay and then there is a something called as markup here markup helper there is some class called markup helper that will help you to create a code block okay this is a code block right so if you notice this this is going to accept the string and the code language the string here in our case is the json code okay and the code language so let me import that particular thing dot so this code language is json so you have other option like xml as well so in our case it's we are going to log it as okay so this is a normal way if you are logging it as a string it will log like this suppose if you are writing your own custom method it will log like this but this is the this is the new method that is created by extend report guys to help us to log the json code okay so let's try how how this differs from this previous ones And if you notice, uh, so if you notice, you know, this is the one that we have created using custom, you know, operations. But here, if you notice, even the coloring they have done. Okay. So I don't know whether you can see it, but uh, the coloring is there. Okay. John, the dough is in green color. And for integer, they are changing into different color. And then the formatting is pretty clean than before. Okay. So I would suggest we can use something like this in our. Uh, in our you know, rest assured framework so that uh, we can easily show the clients this is the response that we got and then it got failed or passed right so it's much clean than before so the same way if you have an xml block okay this is your uh, json code so let me comment this uh, so now let's take an example of a json uh, sorry xml okay so xml code code so let me take a very simple xml okay so it look it's gonna look like this it has a employee employee tag and then inside that you have a first name and last name tag and then the employee tag is getting close so this is very simple right so for that i can i can directly use test.info and markup helper dot create code block i'm going to create a code block the string is xml code and the code language is xml so as simple so now let me run this test okay you, even if the xml is little bigger they have included the scrolling option okay we will see that so so they have done a lot of good work in this in this migration so so if you notice you have a scrollable option here okay even if your xml is so big okay you can even do copy pasting okay you can do all those things okay so this is all about uh, you know how how we can log your uh, xml or json file in uh, you know XML, json code in your extent reports so thank you for watching if you like the videos please subscribe to my channel thank you have a good day bye